This is the last place I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Yeah, we also had a little disagreement recently. They could be holding a grudge. I'll explain that your presence in Loch Muin is necessary. What now? What can we expect to see in the city? Separate camps, buffer zones, and frequent patrols. Well, that's how it should be organized if those mages from the Conclave have any sense. Ah, another area of your expertise. The Peace of Sintra was signed on April the 2nd, and all around was quiet, calm, and orderly. If you don't count Hensel's roars and the all-night festivities of the Mahakam Volunteer Army, and the common folk were positively thrilled with the parade that followed. Yet, not one of those fuckers even knew that I, and a few others like me, spent a week poring over the city map and devising a way to keep those crowned idiots separate, just in case one decided to deal the next blow in a long-standing feud. In any case, I hope to see something similar here. Relax. The mages want royal gold. They'll make sure all the sources of financing remain alive and present, at least until the inevitable quarrel over the Pontar Valley breaks out. Well, we'll see if there is indeed a way where there's a will. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. Vernon Roach, in the Halt! And who might you be? That's Geralt of Rivia, the man I mentioned. So you did. Question is, where's the truth in all this? Everyone says the Witcher killed Foltest. You're the only one claiming he didn't. You shouldn't even be here. Radovid invited us. What exactly are you doing here? That's none of your concern. Be along with you. Looks like Radovid doesn't believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Not a soul is to be trusted in this city. Not a soul to be trusted any time, anywhere, period. We need to assess the situation. I remember you. Whoever stationed the knights at Logwin's gates is likely to know the most and to have the upper hand. I'm going to the Redanian camp. If you want to look around, I'll meet you near Radovid's headquarters. All right. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. Ah! 
He's but one man, damn it! Now listen here. Now listen here. You stink. Let me guess. Behold, the mighty Numa, and I am his apprentice. Way to spoil my fun. The mighty Numa breaks the necks of bulls, bends iron bars, defeats everyone. Numa. His secret lies in the mushrooms and herbs cultivated in Elanda and picked in the mornings by virgin priestesses. They can be yours, for a very reasonable price. Commander. You've got shot us for brains, you barkin. How are things? You're either very unobservant or very rude. I thought I'd meet some of my colleagues from years past, chat with them and reminisce, but they all turn their heads away and treat me like air. Mages aren't known for being polite. You're telling me. They threw me out of Bannard the first chance they got. Must have beaten the Chancellor one too many times. They've all forgotten me and I believe I've had enough. I'm getting rid of the grimoires and amulets. I don't want anything to do with mages. I'd like to cast an eye at those if you don't mind. Sure. Cast both if you want.
Nice. At ease. We all serve the Emperor, be it in Nilfgaard or here. Shemper of Oh. Renault's magic, I tell you. I'm Geralt, Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. On the contrary, I find Elven ruins interesting. Do you really? Elven works are not half as interesting as gnomish ones. But even ruined, Loch Muin is impressive. It must have been beautiful in the times of the First Conclave. Everything was better before the war, as they say. The sources, those children that old Geoffrey Monk brought here to train in the magic arts, must have walked around gaping at all they saw. Somehow I just can't imagine Hen Gedimdeeth as a small gawking boy. You met him? Ah, right, upon Thanet. His death was a terrible loss. Terrible. You see, Geralt, everyone complains about how the world is taking a turn for the worse. Values are being compromised. The small is dislodging the great. Exactly. But the events on Thanet truly marked the end of an era. The world grew up, losing its virginity in a rape. What use are masters of magic and legendary heroes to a grown-up world? They're of no use. That's the point. Today, people manage perfectly well without mages, witches, and heroes. Yet not everyone understands that, and not everyone likes it. You're so clever, you'll get in trouble. We'd best change the subject. Actually, I'm here because of your weapon expertise. I'm no expert. You're the best swordsmith among mages. I'm more interested in the cultural relics of other races, actually. I'm going to need a solid cultural relic in my hand. I guess the circumstances require haste.
Greetings. Ready for your chat with Radovid. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass then, if your news is so important. But one word from the King and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Tameria stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kigwin. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I take pleasure in seeing Kigwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos, so you'd best hope nothing of that sort is here. Just as I Did you request an audience with the king? Yes. The king will receive you. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Pontar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Hensult was butchered in Vergen. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensalt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right?
Why do you ask about him, Your Majesty? Mere curiosity. But I understand if you'd rather not talk about it. Do you know how he died? Yes, I was there. Speak then. I killed him. Henselt had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed his own death sentence. When he was looking for Saskia in Vergen after the battle, I cornered him in a hut and I killed him. What about Death Mold? He followed orders and deserves the same. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? I found one of the assassins after Henselt's murder. Before he died, he revealed de Tanzerville's role to me. Why you in particular? He knew me from the time I can't remember. Your past troubles me, Geralt. But I have more pressing matters today. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestel warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Tamaria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Divide Tamaria! Shame on the traitors! Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After the Baroness's rebellion, the girl was captured by the Nilfgaardians. The child has become a bargaining chip between the Empire and Kedwin. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. Why does Deathmold need Foltest's daughter? The girl has become entirely dependent on him, which will strengthen his position in the Conclave. Remember, he who has Anais will have the upper hand today. The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her Queen of Redania and Temeria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the North would emerge stronger than ever. 
I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with Lavinia is our only chance of preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger I'm claim to the throne. You, Maybe Anais can tell us down. something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. What's he doing here? Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Paperbrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another Vess? This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Voltaire's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Busi is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Foltest's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all! Geralt, I need to look to Anais. Learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Boosie. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwini camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida, learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. We shall leave Loch Muin through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Expecting someone to... Does it matter, Witcher? Blessed be the Marian eternal Marian. fire! Powerful men. Welcome to the Marian camp. Our lives have been so Wait, wait till I push back. Too early to pry, Witcher. Let 
you pick my brain and abandon me. The main path leads to the right. That's where they're likely to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I've agreed to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Foltest's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. Roaches, bitch! Kill them!
This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. You'll not sail off, you whore! Kill her! not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created this storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another. Or oh, that's what they wish everyone to believe. It's the devil only knows. You know what the Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria. And a strong north. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maribels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that end. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old setter. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Temeria, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander, a change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, we were attacked. Yeah! <laughs> 
attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. It was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Boosie's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anaïs still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They nearly grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anaïs, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor. Blessed be the eternal fire this in its radiance, and to it our lives we give. I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Baron Ravenen Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? 
Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Foltest's other favorite hound, alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? I have it. Show me. I need you to promise. What? That I'll get the letter back. I tire of your tone, Witcher. Damn. So be it. I pledge to return the letter to you. I merely want to see this original with my own eyes. It is my seal, but the hand is forged, sloppily. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. We are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. My claim? My scribe? I'd hardly call that impartial. Maybe I should just deliver the letter to Natalis. Any accusation will be quickly dismissed. Heed my words, Witcher. It would be unwise of you to jump to any conclusions. Speak with my scribe. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. Stop looking at me! Young alchemist, do as you order. Drunk than a bard. Water. Won't get anything out of him. Maybe there's something about testing letters in his notes. Cormorants, a string of cormorants. I don't know any of these substances. Let's not risk destroying the letter. Maybe there's a formula for the activator in the scribe's notes. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. Everything's better with a dash of bird blood. Gotta be careful with this. A little burnt lime. Wait for it to dissolve. Shit. Now I'll never know if the letter was fake. Light, quench, shit, rinse. Calling me sauced. Like a cormorant. The king of reagents. Yes. Calling me sauced. Nah. I'm clear of mind. Like a cormorant. King Slayer.
we met. You have it coming. So many crowned heads in one place. You must be pleased. Whoa! Let's do this. Deathmold is a dead man. I'm guessing you don't have a plan. In fact, I do. We need to kill Deathmold and rescue the royal child. You never did like playing it by ear. I learned from the best. See that? Deathmold's put up that magic barrier again. Apparently not a single sound seeps through. I dread to think what he's doing inside. Why are you here? We have business with Death Mold. The sorcerer is busy. No one's too disturbing. Recognize me? Should we? Of course you should, unless you don't care about being promoted. <laughs> Who are you? Now. <laughs> I don't want any unwanted guests. Quickly, up top! Help me up! Low road's yours. I'll take the walls. Close that cursed gate! Tiger! Hang on! Tiger! Nearly unblocked! Defend the passage! I killed them all. Unit 2! Block the passage! He'll pay dearly! Ready, Geralt! Who are you here, you cunts? You're dead, meat! Send for reinforcements! Block that swiping passage! Close ranks! I've got a crossbow, Hold Garrett. Leave it to me. Got a step backwards! Forward! Attack! At man your positions, you horsons! Close ranks! Well, Geralt! For heads 
yourself! Get up! There is one crime that all civilizations consider irredeemable and unforgivable. Regicide. A transgression of laws both human and divine, a blow to the vital organs of society. That is why those in power create bloody havoc and wallow in it. They are never punished. Not subject to moral judgments, they stand above the law. Henselt's blood now stains Roach's hands and mine. I could have stopped him, but I didn't want to. Now Henselt is a cold corpse, and the blue stripes in the world beyond are laughing.
Did you see Radovid's retinue? I swear the snot-nosed lad thinks he's king of the world. He should never have shown up here after the recent events in Redania. Honestly, if he grows to be another Vizimir, I hope he ends up like the first. And those robes of his, did you see? <sighs> All right, there's time for one more. Pants off. You've broken my arm! You've broken my arm! Do you know it's worth, you son of a bitch? Now it's worth shit like the rest of you. What do you want? I'll give you anything. You can't give back what you took from me. Cutting off your balls and slitting your throat will have to do. No! <laughs> you reap what you sow. Vernon Roach of Temeria. This is Witcher Geralt. She's terrified. If Deathmold touches her, I'll kill the son of a bitch all over again. What'll you do with the child, Vernon? I made an arrangement with Radovid, and Vernon Roach always keeps to his word. So be it. Let's go. Don't be afraid. I was your father's soldier. I'll not let anyone harm you. Looks like someone's provided an escort. In the name of King Radovid, we demand that you hand over the child of Louisa Lavalette. Shame you didn't show up earlier. Pay heed to whom you're talking. Pay heed to the corpses of those who were impolite to us. You're lucky Radovid told us to stay calm. I'll be sure to thank him personally for that. Beware of Radovid, Vernon. Rest assured. I'd never forgive myself if the heiress to Falter's throne came to any harm. Don't ever take your eyes off her. I wouldn't be surprised to learn Radovid had a hand in Lucy's death. Anything's possible. And I used this to Maria's last chance for ultimate independence. Freedom will come sooner or later. Suppose Radovid asks you to serve the Redanian crown. Not impossible. What would you suggest? I always advise caution when dealing with kings. Funny. I've always had the other hand when dealing with them. I can breathe easier now that the scumbag is dead. Revenge unburdens you of your past, but it also affects your future. 